I know if I'm looking for the truth when I take a picture, I'm looking for my truth, which might be a lie. But I try to be as honest as I can. The first house where I was born, next door was bombed, so we had to move out. When I was three and a half-ish, I remember that very well, because I was eight when the war finished. My mother aspirations to be posher, and my father was just the East End guy, you know, he had a club, he had the regular razor slash across his face and run a bar and happy going scallywag, I guess. The East End, every, everywhere changes, so it's difficult to say what the actual change was. It doesn't happen overnight, it's, it gradually morphs into something else. I'm quite fond of Buddhism and the Buddhists are all for continuous change and I think I tend to lean that way. I like the idea of things changing all the time. I hate being photographed because lots of photographers come and photograph me are quite boring. They never say anything. And they treat you like you're an actor. Smile, look that way, look that way, look this way, look this way. And that's about as much they ever get to know about you. Whereas I want to know what their relationship is, why they're wearing that suit, why they get their hair like that. I want to know everything about you so that I can assess who you are and then maybe I can reflect it a bit in my pictures. And I turn down lots of things. I'm always broke. <laughs> I'm always turning down the big ones. I can't deal with politically correctness and, and I don't want to be told what to do because if you want me to take a picture then you should let me take the picture. Don't ask me to take a picture and then suggest I should do it a different way. I just keep looking till I eventually see and if you don't keep looking you never see. Most people just look and never see, so you have to practice looking and then you learn to see.